Hey guys, this is Tech up here and today I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 14.1 for your Nexus 6. So to start off, you're going to have to go to this website from CyanogenMod to download the file. And you can easily find this website by just typing in CyanogenMod Nexus 6 into Google and clicking the first link that shows up. So as you might see, there's going to be two downloads, two zips that you can download. Make sure you download the nightly one that says build and it says CyanogenMod 14.1. There's also a recovery download, but you will only need this if you don't have a custom recovery such as TWRP, which is required for this tutorial. So, and the other thing that you're going to need is OpenG apps. Those are pretty much the stock apps that usually come with your phone. Um, and these will provide you with basic functionality. So, ARM is what we need for Nexus 6. Android 7.1, because Android 14.1 runs on Nougat 7.1, as it says there. And then you can choose your variant. I generally go with the full one as that fulfills all my needs. And then you can press download to start the download. So it might take up to five minutes to download. When you're done, let's get to the phone. Once you're at your phone, you're going to have to power off your device. So you just simply power it off. And once it's powered off, you'll have to enter recovery mode. Now, to enter recovery mode, you will have to press and hold the power button and the volume down key at the same time for around two seconds, and then scroll down using the volume down key until you have recovery mode and press volume key to select the option. Now, that's going to boot you into TWRP, and if you don't have that or if you don't know how to install it, make sure to watch the video that will be suggested in the top right corner. After you've done that, you can simply just swipe to allow modifications, ignore this warning because it's useless without it. And then what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to format or erase all of your data on your phone because we are reinstalling the OS. So make sure you do have a backup of your data if you require it. After you've erased and backed up your data, you can now plug in your phone or your device into your computer by a micro USB cable in this case. So once you plug that into your computer, you will have to open up your Nexus 6 internal storage. You might see that there is a couple folders in my phone still because it hasn't fully finished deleting the files. But what you're gonna do is you're going to create a new folder inside of your Nexus 6 storage, call it whatever you want. You don't have to do this, it's for organization though, and it helps out. So I will just call it underscore flashes. And then you're going to take the two files that you downloaded previously, copy them and place them over into the flashes folder of your device. That's going to take a couple of minutes maybe. And after you've done that, we can get back to the phone. So back at the phone, we will go back into TWRP and tap on the install option at the top left. And there you're going to locate your folder that you just created and then you're going to install the zip. So I recommend that you first install CyanogenMod 14.1. So just click on the zip and then you will swipe to confirm the flash. Now that might take a couple minutes depending. So just let that be. And then once you're done, you will have to also go back and press install again and then install the G apps. Here you will also have to swipe to confirm the flash and G apps generally took me around up to five minutes. So give it some time and go ahead and do something else. All right, so here you are pretty much complete. Your phone will boot up into CyanogenMod after you rebooted. This might take quite a lot of time. It took me 10 minutes and once even 15 minutes. So don't worry if it uh, loops a couple of times. Now once CyanogenMod is done, it will boot up, you enter your information, fill in all the correct data and you are set to go. So I will now show you that we are running Sargent Mod 14.1 on Android 7.1. So it, you have the welcome screens, you have the custom launcher from Sargent Mod. And if we scroll down in the settings and go to about phone, you see it's Android 7.1 and that it's Sargent Mod 14.1. If you have any problems or questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.